There are two names more than any others, the mere mention of which strikes immediate fear and panic within the Biden administration. The first name is Donald Trump. And the second name is Ken Paxton. Ken, who will be speaking a little later in the program, is the relentless and ongoing thorn in the side of the Biden administration. the most conservative and active state attorney general in the United States. A true Texas legend and a fearless American hero who has chosen to endorse our candidates. And speaking of heroes, I will tell you that we have five incredible candidates with us this evening. Carissa, the truth teller Richardson. Abraham, the General George. Darren, don't tread on me, mice. Wayne, never say die, Richard. And Chuck, I've got your back, Branch. all of whom have the guts and courage to challenge the rhino incumbents in the Texas House. The reason that these races mean so much to us is that nearly everyone here, including myself, supported and worked for these incumbents in the past, only to watch as Jeff Leach, Matt Shaheen, Candy Noble, and Frederick Frazier betrayed us and instead of draining the swamp, became part of the swamp. And unbelievably, many of these Republican incumbents are now attacking our conservative candidates with lies and smears so vile that in the past we could have only imagined these lies coming from the most radical of far-left Democrats. This is a sign of outright desperation. How can Frederick Frazier, who was dishonorably released from the Dallas Police Department and who pled no contest to two criminal counts of impersonating an officer and pled guilty to a separate criminal charge of a criminal mischief, attack the integrity of either Carissa Richardson or Chuck Branch? Can you wrap your brain around Candy Noble calling Abraham George a legal immigrant from India who attends the same church as Candy and Matt Shaheen calling Wayne Richard who Matt has known for 14 years and goes to the same church as Matt neo-Nazis, supporters of Hitler and deniers of the Holocaust. <laughs> The bigger their lies get, the more we know the incumbents are feeling the heat. They are so arrogant that they are actually angry that anyone would even dare to challenge them for the house seats that they believe belong to them. Not anymore. Well, I have news for them. These seats are not their personal property. These seats... These seats belong to the people. And let's talk for just a moment about 
image versus reality. You have no doubt seen the multitude of glamorous television ads of Jeff Leach dur during prime time on Fox News and ESPN showing Jeff as a real macho man's man dressed in his plaid shirt or hunting gear projecting his toughness and how he is going to protect us. Hell, I think Jeff wants us to believe he's a cross between John Wayne and Batman. <laughs> Yet, when simply asked face to face by Darren Mice why Jeff was putting out falsehoods about Darren not supporting President Trump, Jeff, instead of answering why he was falsifying Darren's position, told Darren that Darren was making him, quote, feel threatened, unquote. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these incumbents are as fake and phony as a $3 bill. But the incumbents all say that they are trying their best. Yet it required four special sessions for them to get part of their work done. Multiple special sessions to finally get some property tax relief and nothing done to address the border until the fourth special session. And yet they want you to bow down to them and sing their praises. No more. No more. When the incumbent's version of trying their best means supporting Democrats to serve as committee chairs in the Texas House and supporting Dade Phelan, no. the rhino speaker of the Texas House, you have clearly lost your way abandoned your constituents and joined the swamp. President Trump recently referred to Dave Phelan as, quote, an absolute embarrassment, close quotes, and said, quote, any Republican backing Phelan is a fool and should be disassociated from the Republican Party. That's how bad Phelan is, especially on election integrity, close quotes. The incumbents are way more loyal to Dade Phelan than to Donald Trump. And I can tell you, as an attorney, when you vote in favor of Dade Phelan's impeachment of the Attorney General of the state of Texas without any legal evidence, as Jeff Leach, Matt Shaheen, Candy Noble and Frederick Frazier did in the Texas House, and then issue press releases and statements stating they acted, quote, just like a grand jury, close quotes. You are either too naive or totally ignorant of the fact that witnesses to grand jury proceedings in the state of Texas are required to be placed under oath under the penalty of perjury, something that was not done in the House impeachment. This robbed Ken Paxton of his fundamental rights of due process in the same way that Joe Biden's weaponized Department of Justice is robbing Donald, robbing Donald Trump of his fundamental rights of due process in the sham prosecutions and lawsuits against him. Shame on these incumbents who have sold out to power and big money while betraying the very principles we originally elected them on. Our only remedy is to vote them out. <laughs> <laughs>